So what I want to share with you is like heartscapes, different places my heart has traveled in my lifetime. And I'll begin with bebop, doodad, for dad. I want to reminisce about my good old days when folks moved about with more caring ways. It's the wing-tipped old codgers with their wise, quiet gaze that inspire my heart with this song of praise. I used to walk with my daddy, tried to keep his stride. When old men tipped their hats, I would fill with pride, they'd say, Good morning, Missy, and I'd grin real wide, and Daddy'd guide me past as he'd step to the side. Then I'd take Daddy's hand, and I'd just skip a bit, till in the shoe shine parlor we would wait and sit. It was Saturday morning. There were rounds to be made before summer morning dew became summer morning haze. It was time for me and Daddy to walk around and see just what he used to do before mommy and me and we'd walk real far and we'd learn a real lot and this is just to say daddy I ain't forgot so as I reminisce about my good old days I remember all the goodness came from my daddy's ways oh. Thank you. This is for grandma. This is for my grandma, who taught me to appreciate Friday's fried fish on reheated Saturday afternoons with lemon juice and hot sauce and more salt and pepper and Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> yeah, this is for my grandma. She don't like nothing but the salt and pepper free, uh, seasoning put on the fish before frying that and some slices of bread on the side, you know. But Grandma, she taught me to appreciate that rewarmed, steamy fish with lemon juice and hot sauce and more salt and pepper and Worcestershire sauce and fingers. Don't know when I decided fish had to be eaten in, with fingers in Grandma's kitchen, but it does. Yeah, this is for my grandma. Grandma frowns and tells me, don't like you eating fish with your fingers and watch those bones. I just shake my head okay and keep eating. Then she laughs, that deep, beautiful, screaming laugh, which has delighted me since the times before I remember. It's a laugh that tells me I've helped to warm her heart by doing very simple things like eating her fish and enjoying every bite. Yeah, this is for my grandma. My daddy taught me how to strip every morsel of meat off of any bone. He's still the only one I know who cleans fish bones so well that they look like prehistoric needles you see in museums which were used by untechnical people to sew deer, seal, and bear skin garments with. But this, this is for my grandma. My mommy taught me to be careful to clean fish well and to watch out for fish fumes since they cling to your hair and your clothes and your hands. But this, this is for my grandma. Cause grandma taught me how to appreciate that fishy fish. Not the filet of flounder which I've come to hate with its paste like tasteless meat. But blue fish and porgies and whiting and all good fishy fish. Yeah, yeah, this is for my grandma. For reheated Friday fish on Saturday afternoons, for the rising crescendo laughs, and for the easy contentment she gets from enjoying me enjoying. Yes, yes, yes. This is for my grandma, simply because I've spent years learning things from grandma that I didn't know I was learning and building comforts from the beauty I never really knew she is. Yeah, Grandma, this is for you. Just to say thank you for reheated Friday fish on Saturday afternoons with love. <laughs> thank you. Heartscapes continue with musical interlude. Jet stream rainbows cascade gently over me in endless rhythmic refrains like 
melodious caresses of alto saxophone oscillations whenever I think your name. Teasing titillations tingle racingly up and down my spine as each hair follicle tenses in anticipation of clarinet falsetto heights from your touch. Thunderous rumblings within the most intimate places of my being welcome the wonder of release like bass string straining in controlled frenzy after each skillful stroke of their bow. <laughs> the enticement of each note and refrain remind me over and again how like a favorite jazz strain your love ever changing remains the same cool. <laughs> this is don't turn dimmers down dear sisters turn the dimmer down Turn the dimmer down, baby. Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. Don't be so loud. Don't be so seen. What about me? How about my dreams? Turn the dimmer down. Just turn the dimmer down, baby. Follow my lead. I'm the man. Take heed. Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. How you seem castrating me all out in front and making a means. Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. You don't need no man if you don't understand how to turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. What's the point if it ain't my castle when I'm in the joint? Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. Swing wide your doors. You ain't alone no more. Turn the dimmer down. Turn that dimmer down, baby. Don't ever so don't overstep me. Don't you know what you see? Just turn that dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. What about love? Follow the man dates from above. Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. There ain't no way you can do what you say. Turn the dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. I'm the one who will let you know what's okay. So turn that dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. And just one other thing. Your girls, what they bring? Turn that dimmer down. Turn that dimmer down, baby. Of all the girls, you know only you got a man to show, so turn that dimmer down. Turn the dimmer down, baby. All that mess you preach like you got something to teach. Turn the dimmer down. Turn that dimmer down, baby. Trying to make me think hard like you're amused to some damn bard. Turn the dimmer down. Turn that dimmer down, baby, cause that little light of yours, is blinding me and simply put past my own fears I really just can't see <laughs> thank you this may seem like a response <laughs> can you spell F you <laughs> Don't need to know if you know what it means. I'm asking, can you feel the violence its venom brings? Can you spell F you? Conjure up all its pain and disgrace. Roll it around in your mouth several times, then hurl it in somebody's face. Can you spell F you? Call it up from the nails on your toes. Turn it into a fiery comet. Give it meanings that no one else knows. Can you spell F you? Call it out from your personal pit. Give yourself the vile satisfaction of burning some soul as you spit. Can you spell F you as it's hurled from your face. Now wrap it onto the breast of your victim to eat into the soul like acid. Can you spell F you? Do you relish its obscene appeal? 
if you do, then I know you must notice how draining spelling F you can feel. <laughs> In seventh grade, there was introduced um, Black History Week. And in the class, we learned poems by many black authors. One that stuck with me was Langston Hughes' poem, Forever. And it stayed with me my whole life after seventh grade. So, Forever. I had not known before Forever was so long a word, the slow stroke of the clock of time I had not heard. Tis hard to learn so late, it seems no sad heart really learns, but hopes and trusts and doubts and fears and bleeds and burns. The night is not all dark, nor is the day it seems, but each may give me this relief, my dreams and my dreams. I had not known before that never was so long a word. So wrap me in forgetfulness, I had not heard. The third stanza stayed with me and from that grew this piece, Subtleties. The night is not all dark nor is the day it seems, but each may bring me this relief, my dreams and my dreams, but it's the subtleties that are killing me. The stifling of the unborn spirit conceived in constriction of wounded genes whose underdevelopment begets myriads of malformed souls who wander lost, having been misbegotten short millenniums ago. Yes, it's the subtleties that are killing me, the undetected hopelessness of apathetic non-comprehension which anesthetizes the senses and secures the mindless deadness of spirit necessary to annihilate those who would create themselves godly and whole. Yes, it's the subtleties that are killing me. The disconnectedness of all from the one in unattainable mad rushes toward endless cycles of mad rushes purposefully designed to alienate the mind from the soul so that none can feel themselves hear or listen to themselves think in the still silent sobriety of the one most high creator Lord. Yes, it is the subtleties that are killing me the mindless acceptance of things in place of self. To fill the internal black hole we fail to ascend to because we have forgotten ourselves and believe the blackness of the whole indi indicates empty, null, and void. Yes, it's the subtleties that are killing me, but the night is not all dark because the blackness of the night allows some of us to remember ourselves and sing songs of affirmation to our soulful selves in celebration of this reawakening, which strengthens the remembrance of who we are. And the darkness of the day gives way to the blackness so that we can know the illumination which has been ours for our recreation through our recreation of all that we have made ourselves in concert with our eternal creator, Lord Most High. And herein, we find the relief which can be had by re-life we give all dreams brought conscious by our awakenings. Dreams are tools of remembrance as genes are tools of remembrance as dreams and genes carry remembrance of the soul and are revealed through countless deaths, the truly living die daily, yet survive and rejoice to live. Yes, it's the subtleties that are killing me to the deadness of living a life without dreams and killing me to the acceptance of self-rejection and distrust. It's the subtleties 
which become the double-edged sword swinging indiscriminately without judgment to cut through that which binds the awakened or cuts through those who choose dead-minded sleepwalking in life. It, it's the subtleties which can kill you to life. So be aware, be wary, and take heed. Thank you. My final piece, because we will end on a high note, is the ascending place. You may proceed to your ascending place through floods of tears without a trace of all but the healing of an embrace and that kiss placed gently upon your face. You may proceed to your ascending place. You may proceed to your ascending place with strength gained from all you found so hard in times you thought you would be left scarred. You may ascend by the grace of God. You may ascend. You may ascend despite doubts and send you to the place where the Lord resides well within you and find yourself with a will to renew you. You may ascend if only you choose to. You may proceed to find powers unknown and seat yourself upon your throne and find yourself to be at home with insights you may have always known and true knowledge that you are not alone. You may ascend. You may proceed to your ascending place with ease you'd be surprised to find in perfect love and peace of mind wherein your soul will be sublime. You will proceed. I know in time you will ascend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful.